Everyone, welcome to the new, uh, the Emirates Stadium for Liverpool versus Arsenal. Now, this is uh, going to be the second part of like a two two uh, death matches because uh, City and Manchester Stadium, the Emirates, uh, in my opinion, are two of the hardest stadiums to go to in the world. Um, and I'm not just saying in uh, in England now. I mean in the world. If you probably, I'd say the three hardest stadiums to go to are probably Old Trafford, Emirates, and uh, Eastlands, and then probably White Hart Lane. I fucking hate White Hart Lane. <laughs> um, but look at the Arsenal team here now. Uh, one common transfer that I think will occur pretty much any every game, ex with the exception if you're either an Arsenal uh, manager or an Everton manager. Um, obviously, if you like, if you want the transfer to go through, obviously, um, Leighton Baines moved to Arsenal. I think that is a pretty common move. I think is a possible move in the future, maybe. I, I don't know. But I'm surprised Mr. Wenger didn't. Uh, move for someone like Baines and uh, I think you know he's prime target now with Everton and uh, their uh, financial needs obviously most of their money is now going to the bank rather than the transfer pocket uh, once again it's a fairly unchanged I think it is just an unchanged team from the Arsenal t uh, game um, uh, sorry from the uh, City game beg your pardon um, Suarez and Carroll continuing Gerard on the left he's scoring goals I'm not going to move him <laughs> you know Bellamy's on his way back his injury light is now orange uh, but I think that's about really anything else. But yeah, Emirates, I'd probably take a draw here, to be honest, again. Uh, let's do Steve Clark. Let's play for the fans again. Um, okay, let's do it. Now, Arsenal, actually, before we start, before we actually play the game, um, title clash. What are these title clashes all about? Not the fixtures. What the hell am I doing? Look at the league. Group. Um, we're back down to fourth now with that loss, but Chelsea, we had two games in hand on Chelsea, so. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Arsenal are in ninth, not doing that great. And again, the pendulum of death is swinging over Arsene Wenger. So it's an, it's one for a ch it's one for the taking again here, well, much like it was in real life. And there goes a great ball from Jordan Henderson, and Luis Suarez has hit the post. Oh, what a chance to put us in the lead inside two and a half minutes. Uh, well, this is absolutely no, you know, we've got absolutely no. Um, Oh goodness me, that was that was close. Yeah, you know, we can't rest on our laurels here. Arsenal got a good team. AU, who I actually d never really heard of. Forgive my uh, football ignorance. <laughs> I believe he was uh, 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 forgotten. Actually, someone told me. Uh, someone in the comments in a previous video, way ages ago, told me about AU. Um, I've forgotten. You, you'll probably remind me again in the comments of this video. I th was it Copper America? It might have been Copper America. It might have been Africa. I can't even remember. Uh, but he was like one of the best players in a recent time. It might have been Copper America actually, since that was the most recent tournament. Uh, but he was like you know one of the highlights, and um, oh save, and you know he he's meant to be a very good player, and obviously Arsenal signed him. I never heard of him, so I thought he might have come through the youth system. I don't know, but look at this from Arsenal; they are absolutely tearing us apart here. Had a few, oh for God's sake, come on, get the pos here we go possession. There we go, Jar on the break. Andy Carroll is through here, and where's he going? Where's he going? Where are you going, Andy? What the fuck? He was bearing down on goal, and he. Ran away! What did he just do there? I know he tried to obviously open a bit of a space up for himself, but what the feck was that about? What the feck was that about? That was a genuine chance, and Andy Carroll... I was going to say he messed it up, he didn't really mess anything up because he didn't shoot. <laughs> that was a strange finish from Andy Carroll. And Arteta sending it over. Actually, Leighton Baines, I said earlier, you know, obviously Arsenal should raid Everton. They've pretty much raided Everton just by signing Arteta, to be honest. <laughs> That's like, you know, raiding a trophy. That's like raiding Everton's trophy cabinet. They've got one thing to really be proud of. And that's like this Derby trophy, that sort of um, imaginative trophy that every time they beat Liverpool, they raise up this imaginative Derby trophy when they win. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Everton fans. You know, you can take a bit of Merseyside banter, can't you? <laughs> Here we go, anyway, Liverpool there on the attack. Uh, oh, it's going to come back in. Carroll switches it up to Lucas. Very close, it's still going though. Down oh, again. <laughs> I thought that was again a good save by Chesney there. Uh, am I saying Ches is it Ch Chesney or Ch Chesney, like Chesney Hawkins or something? I, I don't know, I've never really bothered to just say it pronounced. I just say Chesney. <laughs> It's easier to say. I, I, you know, if that word, was, if Chesney's name was presented in front of me, I'd just look at it as if it was just some gobbledygook. Um, sorry, I can't say scouts came up me there. You know, some absolute gibberish. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd have absolutely no idea what I was, uh, what what I'd said. But uh, thankfully, you know, commentators have to learn it. I don't. 
Actually, I haven't commented on it. I'm not talking about it. Anyway, is that you? Well, I might, might also, am I pronouncing that right? Are you? Or is it AU? Are you? <laughs> I don't know. I've, 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 oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Here's Steven Gerrard bearing down on goal. He's, again, the, it's a goal. Well, I was not expecting Steven Gerrard to put that away there, but he has. What a strike. He was all, he was all over the place. The angle was off. But that was an absolutely unbelievable effort from Steven Gerrard here. And he's put us in the lead. That was unbelievable. Absolutely. I was I was thinking, oh, there's not an on here. He needs to put a cross in. There's Carragher to his mate, Gerrard. Look, he's getting closed down. He moves away from goal. The angle was narrow as hell. But he still put it away. And... I've just found an absolute gem of a position for Gerrard here, it has to be said. He's succeeding on this left-hand side. I think he's got more goals than Suarez now. So, I'm saying very happy at the moment with the players. Uh, Andy Carlos not the greatest game so far. He's only 6.8, which, nah, that's a bit more than... That's only a little bit more than Calton Lucas and so on. So, that's not that bad. Anyway, let's continue. I want to get... Let's see, can we actually win at the Emirates? Always found the Emirates to be a bit of a struggle at the start. Um... But as we went on with Liverpool, I did find it a bit easier to win here. But, um, you know, uh, oh, look at this, Van Persie just... Oh, that was when goal of the month right there, if he'd scored that, I just left Iger for dead. He's unstoppable. So when he's in the mood, Van Persie, he is one of the best in the world. And they all admit that. When he's in a team like Arsenal, he can't really see all of it. All, you know, all that talent is limited. Shamak, he's another one. I I'm probably have told you guys this, but any new subscribers or viewers, um, I'll tell you this very quickly. I was playing a football manager years and years ago. It might have been 2005. And uh, I got quite far into it with Liverpool. That's a free kick, thankfully. Uh, I got far into it with Liverpool. It was in like 2015. So that's about 10 years ahead of its time. And uh, I was looking at the transfer market. I was looking for two, like, two of the highest valued players, obviously, who had the most value. Suarez to make it two, it's not going to be two, it's offside. Uh, and the two players there, it's in 2015, one was Marad Shemak. He was I bought him for £30 million and he was absolutely shocking. And the other player was a guy, uh, some more South American or Latin players or whatever wherever you guys are, might remember, a guy called Ortega. Now I know Ortega is quite a common name in uh, Latin America, but I think his name was Ivan. I think it was Ivan or Ivan Ortega. And he was also crap. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was up with it, but yeah, he was he was another one I bought, and he was terrible. And I've never actually heard of the guy. I thought I'll probably hear about him in a few years, like I did with Schmack. But this Ortega guy just has not popped up, and he, they were both terrible. I think Schmack scored like in two seasons. Oh, look at this from here he is now. Oh, goodness me! Let's have a look at this. Well, Suarez offside. Yep, he's late. Is he? Yeah, he is, yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what what's the uh, what what ones because they're both red. <laughs> what line? What the lines mean? And Arsenal with a corner, close. And uh, from here, most Arsenal fans, most Arsenal fans agree that they don't score often from corners. That's what I used to. Hear. I remember I was listening to Fan Zone a few years ago from Arsenal. This is obviously a few years ago, different Arsenal team and all that. But they always used to say, "Oh, we never score from corners," which I guess is true in a way. Whoa, taking Daniel Agger off his injury is injured. Let's bring Martin Skirtle on. Well, that's about that at the moment. I'm not going to make any more subs. Don't really want to disrupt that back line because it's done well so far. But then again, Van Persie. For not good enough there from Robin Van Persie. He's uh, he's not on his game at the moment. He's had a few good runs. But the finishing has not been there. And we are closing in here. But there is still plenty of time left for Arsenal to grab a goal or two. And us for that matter. And Enrique needs to stick with Shamak here. Just not bring him down or anything. Don't bring him down like he did last time. Here's Arteta. Oh my goodness me. You should have scored that. Mikel Arteta. What chance it would be ironic Arteta to score against us. He actually never played in the 2-0 in the Emirates victory. Is he still at Everton? There's Suarez now bearing down. Where's he going? Oh wonderful run. Oh he's at the post. What a run and what a shot from Suarez. That was unbelievably close. And that really would have shot things up. Here he goes again, though. He's still on here. Oh, he's offside. I thought it was, 
Uh, the latest flag. The flags aren't as late this time. Uh, they go up a lot quicker, which is good to see because, I mean, at times, you know, you could run from the halfway line and pop the ball in the net. And you still wouldn't count offside. That's got to be two. Suarez finally has his goal. It's 2-0. Much like in real life. Suarez getting the goal there. And now, it's just like in real life. It is a 2-0 victory. It's going to be at least, it should be a 2-0 victory here for Liverpool. Uh, we're going to take a player off. We're going to take Jordan Henderson off again. And we're going to bring on Maxi Rodriguez. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to, we're going to bring, oh, whatever. I was going to say bring Charlie Adam on, but whatever. So there's Suarez. There's a flick on. You've all seen a flick on before. Header over the goalkeeper. And it's 2-0. I'm going to bring Charlie Adam on in a minute as well. But there's still time to add more goals for either team. Don't get anything. I've seen it all before. This great passing though. Look at Gerard's space for him here. He might unleash a shot. No, Carroll. Oh, look at this passing. Look at this. What a goal. Andy Carroll. That was wonderful. And that was Arsenal football play, play, being played against Arsenal there. That was magnificent. That was absolutely exquisite. Look at this. Gerard, Carroll, Lucas. Back to Carroll. There's more to it than that. And Carroll smashing it into the top corner. Top bit. 3-0. Much better than what it was in the Emirates then. <laughs> and sorry, in real life rather. Uh, we'll take Gerard then since he's got a leggy. And uh, Charlie Adam will come on. Let's give him five minutes. Van Persie getting injured now. Look at that, actually. Arsenal have actually... Well, it's 50-50 possession, but 20 shots. Really. I mean, they, they just can't put 3-0. That really does not do justice for the game. Goodness me. It was an excellent win. Lucas, the man of the match. And he's happy with that. That was a bit risky, though. I was hoping I was having to hold my breath then, thinking, please don't be negative, please don't be negative. <laughs> uh, Tottenham have a game in hand on us, though, uh, as we move second. We are now level on points with Tottenham, but uh, they have a game in hand. Um, we played, obviously, we played on the Saturday there, playing the, uh, oh, look at that, quite contrary. Ah, ah, yes, this. Okay, this game, just very quickly, Alex scoring in that 93rd minute at Stamford Bridge, the beat Manchester United for Chelsea. What an unbelievable finish. That is the game. Um... They'll do the conference, uh, the conference. I think that will do. So an unbelievable win, really. 3-0 against Arsenal. And the and the games just keep on coming. Look at this for a foursome here. City, Arsenal, Everton, Chelsea. That is a way to end the year, I tell you now. Uh, so it's going to be the Anfield Merseyside Derby next up as Liverpool versus Everton. Join me for that, please. It is going to be the game before Christmas. I'm looking forward to it. See you then. Goodbye for now.